Hi everyone, my name is Curtis. Welcome back to the IndoChef channel. 2020 has been a tough year. The times have changed and we're all away from family and friends. Christmas is just around the corner, so I'd like to make your life a little bit easier. In this four part series, I'll show you easy ways to make one turkey stretch your hard earned money into four dishes. If you enjoy content like this, please dip the like button in gravy and subscribe to my channel. Working with such a large bird can be intimidating for some people. So I'll be showing you more of the butchering process and the breakdown of the turkey itself. First up is good old fashioned roast turkey. We're cooking it cheaper, faster, and better than your grandma's recipe. Let's go. If your turkey is frozen, thaw it out for three days in the fridge before you get started. Take your kitchen shears and cut all the way up beside the spine. The goal here is to cut out the entire backbone. If you try this with chicken, it's a lot easier. With turkey is a lot thicker bones. So you might need to get a little extra help with this, put in some extra muscle. Keep some paper towel handy because it is really slippery and wet. This one has butter infused inside under the skin. So as I was thawing this one, it had kind of solid butter chunks pouring out of it with ice. I always like to prep my turkey on a sheet pan or in a roasting pan, just because extra water does come out. This one is being pretty stubborn. There's a bit of the hip bone here that's stuck. So we're gonna call him for some backup and bust out the cleaver. Finish him! Now that the spine's out, let's flip this over and see what we can do. You only have one more day until retirement. And we're back. One trick to make your Christmas turkey even easier is to not cook the whole turkey. What we're doing here is we're going to split it right down the middle. Let's bring up those hands again because we don't want to sleep with this big knife. Chop right down the center of the kill bone and cut away any excess skin. Now that we have two halves, let's get this thing seasoned up. Generic poultry seasoning works best here. This one's a fine powder. I don't like the loose sticky kind just because you get those little gritty bites as you're biting the skin. Go crazy on the salt. If you think you're using too much salt, use a little bit more. Almost everybody under seasons their turkey. It's a crime. Please use more salt. Grab the neck, the heart, and the other giblets. Put them on the tray, season them a little bit, and we're gonna let that sit on the counter for 30 minutes just for the salt to bring out some more moisture. Preheat that oven at 425 Fahrenheit on the convection setting and put it in for one hour. After taking a peek, cover that bird with some tin foil and put it in for 30 more minutes. And that's it. All there is to do is leave it for about 15-20 minutes to rest to preserve all those juices inside the meat. If you cut into it too soon, it will be dry and it'll bring shame to your family. Please remember to use the thermometer and cook it to an internal temperature of 180 Fahrenheit. Otherwise, everyone's going to visit from Mr. Hanky on Christmas Day. I hope this recipe helps you to make Christmas dinner easier. Roasting half a turkey shortens your time in the kitchen. By not stuffing the bird, two problems are solved. Uneven cooking and potential for food poisoning. Everyone undercooks a large turkey at least once in their life. One more tip to avoid this scenario is by planning to have your turkey fully cooked one hour to an hour and a half before dinner is served. If it's ready, it can retain its juices. If it's undercooked, you have a buffer of time to cook a little longer. Use the thermometer, make sure it's 180 inside. I never serve a whole turkey at the table. Carving is messy and awkward with too many people, big knife, children everywhere, it's not a good idea. Carve your fully rested turkey in the kitchen. Put your best looking cuts on the first platter for the table for all the ooze and ahs. Hide the uglier pieces until people want seconds and questionable or burned or undercooked bits can stay away from their judgment. If you enjoyed this video, please dip the like button in some gravy and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in part two, three, and four.